Hello everyone, welcome to the next episode of the Explain Series with your host, Dr. Brett Palmer. And today we're going to be talking about hypertrophic HSV. Now, uh, hypertrophic HSV, you're probably thinking, what the hell is this? Uh, is this a new form of um, herpes simplex virus? Uh, no, it's not. So um, herpes um, simplex virus only comes in two flavors, if you like, um, uh, HSV1 and HSV2. HSV1 typically causes cold sores, but can cause genital herpes, just depends where it is. And HSV2 typically causes genital herpes, but can cause cold sores, uh, depends what it is. If it's elsewhere on the body, uh, that's called herpes gladiatorial. Um, but that's basically it. So what is uh, hypertrophic HSV? Um, well, um, when uh, the herpes virus uh, gets out of hand and continually keeps on growing and destroying disrupting uh, the skin, uh, you obviously get uh, blisters and ulcers, um, and these ulcers can get, if are hypertrophic, um, HSV, bigger and bigger and bigger. And to be honest with you, the uh, vast majority of the time, literally every case I've seen, it was first considered that this individual actually had some form of uh, cancer because that's what it looks like. You can distinguish it between general cancer and HSV uh, by the history. Uh, now, HSV shouldn't really bleed, uh, but if it's really aggressive or it's knocked hard, um, then it, it can. Um, uh, whereas genital cancers tend to, be ble tend to bleed. Genital cancers tend not to be that painful, whereas HSV uh, tends to be very, very painful. Um, uh, also, the, uh, the spread or the length of time it has uh, got to that particular stage, genital cancers tend to be uh, generally more slower growing, where HSV hypertrophic tends to be very, very quick and aggressive. Um, and, and the patient your hypertrophic HSV is more common in is the immunosuppressed patient. So these are typically transplant patients, uh, patients taking transplant medication. Uh, although there's lots of people out there taking steroids, I haven't actually seen it in a patient just taking common garden steroids. They're taking um, uh, either suppressive therapy uh, because of the transplant uh, patient, which is one up from your bog standard um, prednisolone or dexamethasone steroids. Another group of patients I've seen it in is in HIV patients. And so these are patients with, again, they have a suppressed CD4 count. And having a suppressed uh, uh, CD4 count uh, is actually quite important uh, in controlling um, HSV and also and not uh, expressing uh, uh, B cells as well. Uh, and in HIV, your CDs, 4s are notably very, very suppressed and um, HSV can get out of hand. So hypertrophic um, HSV effectively happens in immunosuppressed patients. That's why it's very rare to see because that, not that many people are immunosuppressed. Um, they've got to have um, herpes uh, they've got to, and there's got to be uh, fairly aggressive uh, in uh, nature. Treatment is um, usually with um, acyclovir. Uh, therapy and the acyclovir therapy, uh, you tend to start it off quite aggressively uh, to see if you can get on top of the HSV uh, infection, and then you tailor it off down to standard treatment doses and then uh, stay on suppression therapy. And then when the skin is all healed up, and there may be, uh, although I've said in previous videos, um, herpes. Uh, of any type uh, or, or genital doesn't usually leave a scar. Uh, hypertrophic HSV tends to leave a bit of a scar because it's so deep and disruptive uh, to the epiderm epidermis of the skin. If you've got a nasty looking ulcer which is not healing and is getting worse, you need to see a doctor immediately, as in literally uh, sorted out in the next uh, 24 hours because that will need um, uh, a biopsy they may start um, H, uh, HSV medication straight away if that is if hypertrophic HSV is a concern. Um, if HSV is a concern and cyclovir is not working, uh, then you have to move on to uh, uh, other forms of um, HSV treatment, which I'm not going to go into here. It's just there are other uh, alternatives. Um, and if you are a transplant patient, uh, you should be regularly reviewed uh, by your transplant team. Um, and uh, please uh, point it out to them. Uh, they will have experience of it and they may also uh, speak in conjunction with the local um, herpes uh, specialist, uh, be it sexual health, uh, virology or dermatology. 
So that's uh, HSV in a nutshell, really. It's basically uh, aggressive um, uh, herpes that's not being controlled by the immune system because the immune system has been taken away, either by infection because of HIV or because of um, uh, transplant medication suppressing the immune system uh, and uh, not allowing it to do its job. So apart from that, see you in the next episode. Take care. You'll be fine. Bye-bye.